Hi guys, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to update your uh, Samsung Galaxy Note uh, via KS software on your desktop. Uh, this is the only method possible when you do not have the update over the air. Uh, if you don't know what over the air is, I will just show you. Uh, go to the settings, about form, software update, check for updates. When, when the update is available over the air, then you get the information right over here. Now it's say, saying that check for software updates and download new products for 3G. I say ok. It's checking for the updates. If the update is available, you get it right here. But now it's showing that there is no update available. Which means that I do not have the ice cream sandwich available for me over the air. So I have to use the keys method via the desktop. To download the Samsung keys, just go to Google and type Samsung keys download free. Uh, you get several options. Uh, you can choose any of them, either through soft PDA or the NSoft or directly from the Samsung. Uh, I'll let me tell you one thing: the Samsung keys is uh, different from Samsung keys Air. Keys Air is uh, is again over the air. Uh, I mean, it's like the wireless connection between your phone and the and the PC to transfer data to and fro from them uh, but it cannot be used to update your uh, phone to the firmware it's just for transfer between of data between your phone and the uh, PC uh, in order to update your firmware using keys you have to have this keys software for your desktop uh, let me show you. this is this Samsung Samsung keys uh, and just double click on it uh, initially I have tried a lot uh, to update uh, to ice cream sandwich using uh, keys air uh, but uh, you'll hardly find any option to update from there Uh, this is how it looks like uh, the Samsung keys uh, software uh, it shows all the information about the device name uh, and all and it's showing the new firmware is available uh, the current firmware version shows um, phone LC1 uh, the latest firmware shows phone LP4 this is the ice cream sandwich update uh, before you before we do the upgrade uh, I suggest that you all uh, you know back up your data you can just go to the uh, backup restore option or here and just uh, you can back up everything from contacts schedule to do messages everything all the pictures music videos and all stuff and just back up I've already backed up my data so I'll just skip this step and let me tell you one thing uh, before you connect the connect your uh, uh, phone to the key software uh, you should uh, what you call uh, disable the debug USB de debugging mode Uh, like I mentioned, uh, to have the keys working, uh, you should disable the USB debugging mode uh, in your phone. Uh, I'll just show you uh, where it is. Just go to the settings and go to the applications uh, and then go to the uh, development. Uh, there you have the USB debugging uh, mode. Uh, it, it needs to be unticked. Uh, as long as you have it ticked, you cannot connect to the keys on your desktop. Uh, now that I have uh, backed up my data, uh, I can uh, go ahead with the firmware upgrade. Uh, just have to click the firmware upgrade and uh, just say OK to all the options uh, that follow. Uh, this is what it shows. The update will install Android Ice Cream Sandwich operating system to your device. Your settings for music plays, home screen, widgets, ac added access points for data connection and others will be reset during the upgrade. You just have to say, you, you know, 
you have installed a lot of softwares you just have to keep pressing ok and all so it's basically downloading the uh, required components for the upgrade once they are downloaded uh, onto your phone uh, it just starts rebooting and doing its work on its own uh, you get to see one more screen uh, where it's uh, actually downloading the 300 uh, MB uh, required files the initial was just uh, you know installer to get the this one uh, so it's gonna take some time uh, I'll just skip this step and once this is done I'll show you the uh, I'll keep showing you the phone's screen uh, this is what it shows now uh, downloading do not turn off the target uh, while on the screen uh, uh, the initially the it has downloaded the complete 100% of the files needed for the update now it's uh, it's in the installation process uh, uh, the, there's a blue line over here uh, which is showing the uh, progress of the uh, firmware download uh, i think the installation will start once it's done with that uh, the progress can be seen on the desktop as well it's 48 percent done uh, the download is almost done you can see the phone is recording uh, let me tell you two things successfully completed restart the device disconnect and reconnect the cable firmware upgrade information service description okay so it says that it's done and let me get back to you so we are about to witness the first screens of the ice cream sandwich for galaxy note is upgrading optimizing application there are totally 93 packages yeah one one important step uh, that you're supposed to do is that you should take utmost care to never disrupt the connection between your phone and the PC once you do that yeah you're going to have some undesirable consequences so it's best to stay away from the, you know causing any disrupt to this connection
please forgive me for a uh, lot of mistakes while uh, doing this video this is my first time and i'm not a professional and probably this will be the last time as well uh, I, this is just to you know help those people who are who eagerly want to get to ICS uh, but see that uh, there is no update available for them um, over the air uh, basically it it's it depends upon the uh, carrier and uh, slowly i mean all the phones will get the update um, but uh, it depends like uh, the serial numbers they keep releasing one by one and also by uh, carriers uh, the carriers you have so one of my friends had uh, got this over the air itself uh, but uh, I didn't get I use idea I didn't get it so I have to I'll use this keys method I hope uh, this will be a useful one uh, for those who were facing that difficulty so finally I have it ice cream sandwich tada oops okay uh, let me see the settings there you go the new new settings Wi-Fi on Bluetooth off and about phone and there you go Android version 4.0.3 IML 74k that's the Indian build number so finally I have it, the ice cream sandwich, yeah. These all are my old apps and all. Uh, I'm actually using this so-called Go Launcher. Uh, I need to remove that to actually show the interface of the uh, ICS. Uh, so this is the this is how the ICS looks like, uh, you know. Uh, previously, um, prior to the ICS installation, I was using a Go Launcher, uh, which had the ICS theme. But this is how the ICS looks like without the Go Launcher. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see all these things. There are a total of seven screens initially. Uh, the the major things to look up, look for in this edition of ICS is that, uh, firstly. Uh, you have S Note, which is an all new, all new, you know, uh, kind of revolutionary, I should say. Uh, uh, there you can see productivity tools. You have formula match, then uh, your shape match, in where you can just draw a shape and it makes it to a perfect shape. Then you have handwriting to text tool and knowledge search, where you can just write a question and you get the answer for it. Uh, this is something I would really love to watch out for apart from that I'll just give you a view of the sample books shown here so uh, there are a couple of sample books here this is a geology note sample what a lovely note making this is this is certainly a new generation <laughs> of note making there's some more fashion note sample. I think this is really a cool feature of the note. Uh, able to make notes on the go digitally, uh, which you can send very easily to whomever you want to. This is an economics note. Uh, the automatic shape one is that you just draw a line, an odd line, and then it automatically makes it a perfect straight line and all. Uh, I, I'll have to look into into these features later I'll just I just want to finish the video uh, giving a brief intro of the features and there are several tips of how to use this S note so that's the one big plus for the ICS uh, upgrade for Galaxy Note uh, then another uh, interesting feature is that of the um, of the one hand dialer One hand operation, yeah. Uh, actually, Galaxy Note uh, is kind of uh, it's a it's a big phone, and you'll it, it, it is a bit difficult to dial the numbers with one hand. Uh, and I have a quite a big you know big hands, so it's not a big problem for me. But uh, 
but when I try a single hand operation it does give me a, a bit of problem but uh, nevertheless I can manage uh, but with this new feature of uh, of one handed operation uh, it gives me a lot of flexibility uh, I've just enabled dialer so I can see the dialer is will now be uh, available for me uh, in, in a mode in which I can just operate by one hand so I think so I think this is a really a cool feature uh, and uh, additionally apart from this I, I certainly can feel my phone has become quite faster uh, in the apps they you know the, I can just feel it the you know the flow of the screens and all has a you know quite fastened up mm, and uh, what else Mm, that's it. Uh, another important feature uh, I should I should show to you is that of the task manager. Uh, this is this is the uh, best feature of the ICS. Uh, previously used to have a you know very you know uh, primitive type of uh, this thing a task manager now you can just swipe it to just close the program and it is such a lovely feature you can just just swipe and close the feature is a really cool thing so this is the uh, latest task manager uh, and also you can you can use the same thing over here as well just previously used to use the clear feature screenshot capture so this is the one more feature of the ICS update and uh, I believe the note uh, the no note uh, S note which is the which which is the premium suit for note uh, has a lot of uh, you know it is capable of producing much great products I mean uh, great performance for the individuals uh, you have this formula match and all where you can you can make the derivatives and all it's it's a really cool feature for the people in the finance finance field and also for students i think it's a real good uh, thing for architects and uh, fashion uh, you know not our fashion fashion people <laughs> uh, so, so uh, that's it uh, i think uh, you'll love the ice cream sandwich on the note and uh, I hope uh, this video is helpful to someone or the other thank you thank you for watching